Very exciting here in the Bender Kitchen. We are making some serious meatballs. Some say better than your own grandma's. Uh oh. We'll see. We will find out. I, I know Teresa's got the Italian in her family. There's a little challenge going okay, on right all now. All right, but we will see if the jealous monk can bring the noise today. Michael Corso is back here. You guys are located at Old Mystic Village. We are. Uh, so this is exciting. I mean, you guys are really all about that European style. You got the beer hall, you got meatballs. You can't really go wrong. You can't go wrong with a good meatball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, it goes well with beer. There's a couple things about meatballs that are super important. It's, it's the beef you're using, mm -hmm. um, which in this case we're using house-made ground pork, wow. house-made ground beef, the fat content in something you want. You know, if you're buying it in the grocery store, you typically want like 80-20 for your fat to uh, meat content Got it. ratio. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's the ability to keep your meatballs moist. The pork helps. We take the extra step and add ricotta cheese, which oh. is something you don't typically Ooh, see that is nice. in the meatball. So okay. we use ricotta cheese, some finely grated Parmesan cheese, obviously garlic. Yep. This is curly leaf parsley. You can use flat leaf parsley. It does not matter. I know that there was a difference, or that, that I didn't was a know thing. It existed either. There is. Curly leaf there is. Okay. This curly leaf looks a little kind of more vibrant it's true. and has a different taste. You got salt and pepper um, and egg. Salt, pepper, and then the egg actually helps with the binding. That's your okay. glue, right? As well as um, some moisture as well. Okay, so it looks like somebody's already formed a bunch yes. of meatballs. She's formed a bunch. I, I actually these. mixed a couple up. You know, if you're using the right the right fat content, you don't really need oil on the pan. Got it. Mm -hmm. But in this case, for this case, for, I just didn't fun. want anything sticking. Okay. All right, so this is going to go right in? Go right in. Boom. Now, a fried meatball is how I grew up eating them. You know, mom's frying them before she's putting them in, in the sauce. sauce. <laughs> and we're eating meatball sandwiches for lunch yeah. and then having the meatballs later. But you don't have to fry them. You can bake them if you're not a frying person and mm -hmm. you, you don't want the hassle. You can easily do them in the oven, um, which is how we do in the restaurant, Got actually. It. But frying is definitely going to give you that nice kind of seal of flavor um, that... I grew up with, like yeah. I said, and I love. So, for you, Teresa, do you have any tradition in the uh, in the meatball family? department? My yeah. mother does a mixture of veal and pork. She oh. typically stays away from the beef because it's all about texture when it comes to meatballs, right. and that's a little bit softer. Okay, so we're gonna debunk <laughs> that. Maybe she can today. bring some in. Okay. In case you, I've, since you asked, we, Ryan, we've worked together for almost four years now. You think she would have brought in meatballs by now, Mrs. LaBarbera? She's watching. She'll bring some in. So, but these look fantastic. As those are cooking, we actually do have some right here the in the product. oven. Finished product, ready to go. Cool. As you bring those out, why don't you break it down for us? The Jealous Monk, such a cool place at Old Mystic Village. What else can we expect on the menu? Because I know you guys have a. Well, your meatballs a are bigger than mine. Oh. <laughs> I'm what just are you trying to you say? Here, girl. You made That's a little what she larger said, than Scott. I do. Oh, boy. Okay. So, Jealous Monk, you know, we try to accommodate all age levels. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it's the village. You get the older clientele. They're sure. vis visiting Families, some of the shops. The Absolutely. We've really become a family restaurant. Um, we accommodate to the kids. We have tons of games, and um, it's just kind of a really family-friendly atmosphere. Mm -hmm. um, we actually have a saying on our menu, uh, Gemuklikite. What oh, does that mean? The old Gemuklikite. It's a German <laughs> saying that basically describes a feeling of coziness and warmth and a general good feeling amongst friends and family. I think that's terrific. We'll have to stop by the Jealous Monk, Old Mystic Village. One of the cool things for, for all you families watching as well, all the parking is on the exterior around Old Mystic Village. So it is. Park, it's easy, then. And then there's no cars going through the village. It's, it's safe. And Very it's safe and family friendly, absolutely. Very good. Well, can I have a fork? That's yours. Oh, I beautiful. eat these every day. No, please. G Gamukla we'll let the staff try it. How do you say it? Gamuklakite. Gamuklakite. There wow, you go. these look good. I could tell wow. just by the way they look that they're going to mm -hmm. be delicious. Mm -hmm. These are flavor-filled, man. These are mm -hmm. so good. Thank you. Thank wow. you. They're not awesome lying, stuff. folks. No. That's really good. Check That's it a out. fantastic.